Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on rearranging a formula and changing the subject. The equation also can be put forward as isolate the variable x from the equation x square minus 4x equals to y. Now, in this equation, clearly, we are written y equals to x square minus 4x. And so, we have the subject as y, right? Subject is y. Now, we need to change the subject, right? Change subject to x. How are we going to do it? Now, the technique to do it is completing squares. So, let's see how do we complete squares and then change the subject when quadratic in equations are involved as we have here in the example. Now, to give you an idea of uh, changing the subject, for a quadratic equation, I hope you remember, what is a plus b whole square equals to? Well, a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, to get a form of a perfect square, we need to have something like this. Now, in the given expression on the right, we have x square minus 4x. If I do half of 4, and square it, I can get b squared term. And that half of 4 will be b for me. Do you get an idea? x being replaced by a. Perfect. So that is the strategy which we are going to adopt. Correct? So, so what we are doing here is, we have x squared, we'll do half of 4 and rewrite. So, so we have y equals to x squared minus 4x. Now, half of 4 is 2. So, what we do here is that we add 2 square, right, on both the sides. We can add 2 square on this side and we can add 2 square on the other side also. So, we added half of 4 square on both the sides, correct? So, the idea here is, see, 2ab term, right? So, half of 4 becomes b, and square of that is b square. Now, if you compare with this, I could write this as x minus, right, this was plus. Now, if in the formula, we have minus here, then we get minus there. Is that clear to you? So, in our case, we have minus. We'll write x minus 2 whole square. And on this side, we get y plus 2 square. I'm writing that as 4. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Now we can square root, right? So once we get a perfect square, we can easily isolate x. So once you square root, you have to write plus and minus. That should be equal to x minus 2, right? Now you can take 2 on this side, so get 2 plus minus square root of y plus 4, which is equal to x. So in this way, we have changed the subject, and we have written x as the subject, right? So x is equals to 2 plus minus square root of y plus 4. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how we could do it. Now, you could always write this also as x equals to plus minus square root of y plus 4, and uh, plus 2, right? So, either way, both are one and the same thing, correct? So, whenever a quadratic equation is there, remember to complete the squares and then isolate the variable to make it as a subject as shown in this particular example. So, I hope that helps. So, in my playlist, you will find some strategies like cross multiplication, working with uh, fractions and ratios, and also reverse operation, right? So, which we did here, we did kind of reverse operation. Reverse of square is square root, right? And reverse of minus 2 was plus 2. So, we did the reverse operation to uh, change the subject or isolate the variable. So, I hope that makes sense. 
Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.